today I'm gonna put a little trap door on my chicken town off the end of the run down here. Let's go. I'm Becky. I used to live in the consumer rat race just like you. But one day I had enough, so I sold it all, moved to the country and built my own log cabin with my own two hands. Now, I spend my time discovering new ways to live a simple, healthy lifestyle with more free time and way less stress. Then, sharing what I've learned with you. Welcome to Becky's Homestead. I'm headed to Lowe's right now. I'm gonna buy some supplies because I wanna add a little chicken door at the end of my run so I can let my chickens free range in my yard. I, um, I, I used to not do that because I had a garden and they would all get in there and tear it up. But now I'm going to do all container gardening. So I want to let my chickens out and let them free range on my property. I just love the way they eat all the bugs. So I just want to let them out so they can do that. <laughs> the less bugs the better. Here's my haul from Lowe's to build my little chicken door, my little tiny chicken door on the end of Chicken Town. So I got a four by four. It's only six feet long. I got some stain, but this is for my cabin. I'm gonna stain some things over there. I got some fly traps, which work so good in my barn, because you know I have my horses, which I love. These are the ones. These are excellent, excellent. Just hang those up. I'm gonna use these as a hinge on my PVC door. And then I just have the tools I need is my skill saw, my tape measure, and a two by four. I'm gonna build a little frame so I can attach the little door to open and close. And I want it sturdy enough so, you know, it can take a little abuse opening and closing every day. This hole doesn't have to be that deep for the four by four because, you know, it's not like holding a tiger in, it's just holding little chickens. And it's on this end of the coop, which is good because Mario protects it easy at night. We have the little door, 34 inches. I'm gonna cut this off right here, nice and close, with my dull old pliers. I'm just gonna roll this around here a little bit. Makes it better. Now I'm gonna use some more zip ties, and I'm gonna fasten this side. This is gonna be the bottom. This is the old flip coop door, which is a little too short. We made it the full size, so I'm like, oh, let's keep that. I'll use that on something. And sure enough, here we are. We can use it. Okay, before I do the top, I'm just going to cut all these tails off here. I need a little tiny tail because if they ever get loose, you can just grab it. It's enough to grab with the tire pliers and pull it tight. So you got to leave enough to grab it with the pliers. So they're shorter, but not. don't cut them off right up against it just in case because surprisingly they do get loose sometimes I always wonder how that happens but it does happen it's just the forces of nature loosen them I'm gonna roll this around the top and then it's like it ends up being like a pretty good door even though it's just wire and PVC it ends up being like a pretty good sturdy door now I'm just gonna put this back up here and put zip ties around it snip snip Okay, so now I'm going to open this thing right here. This is the little hinges, and I'm going to show you how it's going to work. I'm going to put it like this and screw it on so it's loose enough to turn in there. This is a really good drill. It's nice and handy when you're building stuff around the homestead. So. If you like it, I'm going to put a link to buy this at the, you know, uh, 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 down below. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to carry it over here. Screw it on there. 
I just can't get it. Get in there. Okay. Let me see. Right there. I'm going to have to do it lefty. I have no choice. Okay. A little tricky. A little tricky when you're doing renovations, add-ons, modifications. A little trickier. But it's still very doable. Okay, there we go. I can't wait to cut the other wire and let the little chickens out. <laughs> it's my beetle. It's all mine. Beetles are so gross. I can't even believe they're going to eat it. That's why I want to let these chickens free range so they can get all the bugs. Hey, he's like, share. <laughs> A little chicken door. This hole doesn't need to be the size of this door because the chickens are small. They can fit through there and it also makes it just more secure. So right here, what I'm going to do is just make it like chicken size. There, it's perfect chicken size. The only thing I have to do is make sure I bend the edges over because I don't want them to cut their little feet on this bottom one. I gotta bend these over because if they get their little chicken toe caught in there, it'll hurt them. We don't want to hurt them. We're not even a little chicken toe do we want to hurt. The key of keeping chickens, any animals really, is to prevent injuries, not treat injuries. You want to prevent them in the first place. I gotta get a new build dr uh, drill. I'm saying it backwards. Cut. I gotta get a new drill bit to fit in there to match the screws because they're different. Get this one out. You put it in reverse to get it out, and you put it in forward to put the new one in. Let me just see. I wanted to kind of put it like this, which is gonna make it a little difficult to drill it to that, though. And the door can even actually slide up and down a little bit. So if it's up here, it's better. And it just opens. And I'm just gonna put a little chain right here, just a little latch, little chain. Click. <laughs> oh, she's gonna go in. <laughs> it's a reverse door, they're going in. <laughs> hey, hey, he's like, oh, I can do People think chickens don't like a coop, but this just proves that they love their coop. They feel secure in their coop. They could totally just run out that door as fast as they could. And in fact, it's the opposite. The other ones go in the coop. Look, it's got something. Look at it. It's got a chip or something. <laughs> Smart. smart. I made a chicken book to teach people all about different aspects of chickens and if you'd like to check that out it's in the link below.